Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole and I'm a wife and mother of two children, Penelope who is five and Henry who is two years old. And we also have two dogs as well. So it's quite a little busy house we have here. I like to post videos on all things family life and also like beauty, fashion, home, just all kinds of things basically. So in today's video I thought we'd bring to you a little DIY and I am using French Chic paint for the very first time. Now I have been recommended this paint so many times and I've never seen it in a store or anything so I've been researching online and I've been following the French Chic fan forum and I've seen people on there how they have painted their UPVC doors. So I have got patio doors that have a brown frame on the inside which is UPVC. Now all of my other windows have white UPVC inside which matches my decor perfectly as you can see. It's a very white house up in here and the brown just doesn't go. It makes the room look really dated and it, I just really don't like them to be honest with you. It just doesn't match and I wanted to get them changed for a real long time and obviously changing the doors is going to cost a lot of money. Um, getting them sprayed is also going to cost a lot of money so I thought that if I can buy a £17 tub of paint and do it myself then we'll see how it works and if it works out well then brilliant. So I thought I would show you what I'm doing because I'm a complete beginner and if I find it really easy and it goes really well then you can see the process that I do and if you're a beginner as well you can feel confident to go ahead and do it yourself. So from my research online I found that you're going to need sugar soap so I bought the French Chic sugar soap when I was ordering it online. I bought this directly from the French Chic website because you need to find a stockist and um, basically they just had it on there so I ordered it from there. So this is the French Chic concentrated sugar soap which you need to wash the door frames down with before you paint anything because otherwise you're going to be just painting on dirt. And then I also got the Alfresco paint which is weatherproof inside and outside and it's chalk and mineral furniture paint and I got this in the shade Dazzle Me which is just white. This was recommended by a lot of people on the forum so that's why I ordered this colour. So that's it for the intro and I'm just going to get straight on into it and basically take you along with me on my journey of painting these doors from brown to white. So I will show you a before and then we'll see that after and I'm hoping and praying that it all works out fine because this will be the most inexpensive change to something quite big on the house. So I'm really hoping it works. So these are the patio doors. This is the brown that it is at the moment. And as you can see, I'll show you there, it just stands out so much on the white. Um, and it just makes the room look unfinished really. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get on with cleaning it. So now that I've sugar soaked the whole window, I'm going to rinse it off with cool water and make sure it's completely washed off and then I'm going to dry it down with a clean like microfiber cloth to make sure everything is just completely dry. Then I'm going to have to take a little break because um, if you follow me for a while you'll know that I was in a car accident earlier this year and I'm just very tired from it and very sore. So yeah, cleaning that has just really ached my wrists and my shoulder and neck from that. So I'm going to take a little break and then I'm going to come back and do the first coat of paint. So I'm going to see you after the time lapse. So what I'm using to cover the windows because I didn't have anything else is masking tape and then just some cling film. So I'm attaching the top bit there and then I've just been letting the roll drop down. Just get it as close to the frame as you possibly can. I'm not the tallest, so this is quite a challenge. And then I've just been smoothing this cling film onto the glass, which is really good because it sticks to the glass. So you can just get it to completely cover it. This is completely makeshift because I was going to use a plastic bag and that wasn't working. So this was actually kind of turned out to be a really good idea. 
So once I've smoothed it all out down the glass, I'll take the bottom and then the sides. And this is the first window. And I have been watching Dexter and it is giving me proper Dexter vibes. Any of you who watch Dexter, you'll get the reference. <laughs> So as you can see I'm all prepped now and ready to go so I'm going to be putting the paints on. Um, it, online I've been seeing people using the French sheet brushes but I actually forgot to order one and I wasn't paying another £6 for postage for a paintbrush. So I'm just using these Harris brushes that are from B&Q and let's just hope for the best shall we. Um, so I am going to get going. Okay, so the first coat is done and I'm quite nervous because on the fan forums it did say after your first coat you might be thinking oh my god what have I done this is a huge mistake because it looks a bit of a mess because um, the brown is still showing through it is patchy it is awful it looks awful but I'm loving the way the white is looking next to my walls and um, the walls need a bit of a refresh anyway and um, we're gonna be like updating in here soon but I'm liking how the white's looking, I'm just not liking how the paint is looking. So hopefully on the second coat we'll see like what it's actually supposed to be looking like because at the moment I would be devastated if it stays like this. So fingers crossed it works okay or else Kieran is going to kill me and we will be buying new French windows which is not what I want. But um, yeah. Let's see. So I've been leaving the door for around two hours now, so I'm about to give it a second coat. Fingers crossed that this goes well. Uh, I've been reading the, the fan forum whilst I've just been letting it set, and they said that the white may need a couple more coats than just two. So we'll see how the second coat goes, and then if not, I'll be back here again in another two hours doing another coat. <laughs> So the second coat, the lighting isn't that great in here, so you can't really tell, but the second coat has gone on so much better than the first coat, but two coats is definitely not going to cut it. It's going to need maybe two more coats, I would say, for the white. I was warned that white does need more coats than other colours, but as you can see over this way, it is looking so much better. It's hard to get the lighting because I'm pointing it at the window, so the natural light is contrasting with the indoor light um but how much brighter is it looking guys 
Just ignore that bit of skirting board at the bottom there. That needs painting and putting back on. But I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. I just hope that I can finish it off properly. If I can get the finish right, this is going to be amazing because the white has definitely done what I expected. But um, I'm just hoping I can get that finish, finish done. Eek! It is very exciting but very nerve-wracking at the same time. So it is the next day. Um, I left it overnight to dry and then do another coat. I eventually had to do four coats in the end. Um, the first coat I was thinking, oh geez, what have I got myself into? The second coat I was thinking, actually no, this is going all right. The third coat I was thinking, this looks great. The only problem we had was that there was still just a few lines on there and the fourth coat just finished it off so nicely. Now the lighting in here isn't really going to do it justice because the light is shining in from outside so it is not giving you the full effect of how it looks but I am so so happy with it. It is just amazing what a transformation a colour can do to a room because although I felt that this was a bit dull and the brown just wasn't my style and it was kind of dating the room a little bit I didn't realize how much it was dull in the room until I painted it white and now when I walk in I keep thinking whoa it's bright over there um it is just completely transformed the room painting it white it is absolutely fantastic I love it so so much that I'm definitely going to be French cheeking up some more of my house I'm going to be doing the inside of my front door because I'm doing that in white and then I may even get brave enough to do the outside of the UPVC because I want to paint that black. Um, and I got quoted quite a lot of money to do the whole of the outside. So if I can be brave enough, I may do um, that as well. So all in all, it has cost me £28 to have basically a completely brand new door. I was quoted between £150 to £200 to get it sprayed and it was around 1500 to 2000 to get a new door. So 28 pound is an absolute bargain and I feel like I've got a brand new door. The room just looks incredible now. I'm so, so happy with it. So it, the French Chic has got a big thumbs up from me and stay tuned for more DIY French Chic videos because I'm going to be French Chicken everywhere up in here. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's helped you if you're thinking of doing something DIY. Just give it a go. This was completely my first time. I did not have a clue. I love a bit of DIY, but I normally get Kieran to help me. I did this all by myself. I'm so proud of myself that I did it. And I really, really love it. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos. And I will see you in the next one.